I hope you enjoyed this look that I decided to do for you today. Um, I used one palette, it was just a Morphe palette, um, and I'll tell you more details about that in the video. But I hope you guys enjoy this look. Please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, thank you guys so much for watching all my videos. If you do enjoy this one, please hit that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so today we're going to be starting out with our Morphe 35K palette, and this is what the shades look like. There's a lot of different shades, um, there's a lot of matte shades and shimmery shades in this palette, um, there's just a lot of different ones, but we're going to be starting out with this shade, it is in the top row, kind of here in the middle. Um, we're going to be using this in our crease and upper crease area. And we're just going to be going in with this brush right here. And this is by City Color, and it is the CCE01 brush. Then we're going to be going in with almost the same shade, but it's just a little bit darker. That is the shade right here. And we're just going to be applying that in the same area. Just maybe a little bit lower. Just to darken up that crease. And you just want to make sure you blend these shades together. <laughs> Okay, then we're going to clean off this brush and we're going to go in with this darker shade right here and it is in the third row in the middle. Um, I'm sorry these shades don't have names on them, but we're going to take this and we're going to go directly into our crease with this shade here and just lightly darken our crease with this. And you can just build it up until it's at your liking. Then I'm going to go in with a blending brush, and this is my favorite blending brush, and it is a Luxie 205 Tapered Blending. Um, I believe I got this in a Ipsy bag a while back, and I'm just going to blend this all out. This is the only... I have another Luxie brush now, but it's not an eye brush, um, and I actually really like both of them. I use the other one for concealer under the eye, um, and just to kind of help blend that out. Um, so I might actually look into getting some other Luxie brushes. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried some other ones and how you like them. Um, but I really like this blending brush. It's the one I always go for. Then for our lid today, we're going to be using this shimmer shade here that's in the top row. And we're just going to take another City Color um, flat lid brush and let me find it. It is the City Color CCE07 brush and we're going to take a little bit of Max Fix Plus and spritz this after we apply the shadow to the brush to help it stay in place and not transfer onto the top of the lid um, and to also help it give that extra pop and shine that we're going wanting to go for. onto the inner corners as well. 
Then we're going to go back in with that crease brush and just blend it out in the crease area. Now I can definitely say um, I would normally use like a base for the lid and I didn't today and I should have. Um, sometimes with like some of the darker shimmers I don't have to but with it being this lighter shade you can definitely see where sometimes it didn't take as well. So I definitely should have used um, like a, the Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance or something like that to help. Um, but for this look, it's okay if I was going, you know, to like an event or something. I would definitely want it to be. But for just for an everyday look, um, I'm kind of okay with it not being so, you know, packed onto the lid. Um, it just kind of gives it more of that um, not so glam look. So I'm okay with that. Um, so we're just going to leave it for the way that it is now. Um, but we're going to move on. I'm going to finish up the concealer under the eye and then we'll move on to doing the bottom lash line and I will be back in a second. Okay, now we're going to take those same shades that we used on our top lash. Uh, bleh, now we're going to take those same shades that we used on the top and take those down onto the bottom lash line. For our eyeliner today, we're going to use a black, it is the Dolce Cosmetics Ultra Precision Eyeliner. We're going to put this on the bottom waterline. <laughs> Then we're also going to take that same eyeliner that we used on the bottom and apply that to the top as a tight line. <laughs> okay, then we're going in with our Light Camera Flashes Tarte Cosmetics Mascara and we're going to be applying these to top and bottom lashes. And for lips today, first we're going in with our Perlisse Lip Gloss and I'm going to be applying these to the bottom and top lips. We're just going to let that sit for a little bit and soak in while we pick out our lip color. And then for our lips today, I'm not going anything too crazy. I'm just going to go with some lip gloss and this is the Stila Lip Gloss. Um, it is in the shade Mango. I really like this lip gloss because it's not too sticky um, and it just gives you kind of that little sheer color over your lips. It's great, I think, for the summer, springtime, anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.